Hello and welcome everyone. Thanks for joining me for another walkthrough. Today I have this lovely, fun and quick recipe binder to share with you all. Before I show you, I want to show you the papers that I used. I got a 6x6 pad of Delicious by Authentique. I really didn't use too much of this paper. I don't know, I really wasn't a fan of it too much. But I did enjoy their little paper punch outs. I got a sheet of these to go along with the 6x6. I also got a 6x8 pad of Simple Stories apron strings. And this paper was really pretty. I don't have any left to show you. And I did also buy a few extra sheets with the 6x8. I got some tags. Three by four journaling cards. And some little two by two cutout elements. And all these I'm going to save for another project. So this binder is 9 by 7 with a 2 inch spine. And it was rather easy to make. I wrapped it just like I would wrap a normal um, mini album. But instead of putting in hinges, all I had to do was go ahead and make holes with my hole punch and screw in the little screws that came with the six ring binder. So it made this project really fun and quick to make, which I really enjoy. So in the front here, I just go ahead and layered up some papers with a solid red paper in the back. That was just some extra that I had. And I divided them into four sections and I put these little tabs for whoever to write their sections on. And each section is um, laid out the same. I hole punched some recipe cards. And I also just hole punched some of these authentic cards. I thought these would be cute for a magazine cutout recipes. Um, you could cut out the picture, glue it on the front, and then cut out the recipe part on the back and glue it on the back and then add extra notes if you'd like. This page is a pocket page. You could hold extra recipe cards. Each of them each has a little tuck spot on the front. And a pocket tuck on the back. These are from the Authentique. This is the back side of one of my um, apron string extra cutout tags. I think it was the uh, back of the 3x4 tags. Not the tags, the journaling cards. These are some extra recipe cards. And in each section, you could also print out um, recipes offline and hole punch them and add them in each section that you like. Next section. And for the last section here, the fourth section, Oh, this is the third one. I'm sorry. Same layout. Recipe cards. Authentic cards. Another little pocket. And now we come to the fourth. 
And in this section, I left it blank with just some writing paper. We could go ahead and write your own dishes down or ideas for dishes that you would like to create. You could also add any of your printed out ones, hole punch, put them back here. And on the back, we have an acetate pocket. I went ahead and stitched in with the conversion short on the back from the collection. And I also made like a little shopping list for your ingredients that you would need. This is the back. That was from the Authentique. So that is my little apron strings recipe binder. I hope you all enjoyed it. And if you have a comment, please leave it. Go ahead, like, and subscribe. It really helps. Um, I'm going to be moving soon, so it might be a while before um, I put out any new videos. That's why we have a double feature this Friday. But as soon as I finish moving and I get settled in, which is going to be probably the beginning of May sometime, um, I'll be back and putting out more v videos and hopefully um, another tutorial for you all. And if you would like the tutorial to be on this recipe binder, go ahead and leave me a comment and let me know. So I'll see you again next time. Bye.